You could visit him? I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. You haven't. I'm not the one staring at the... You know. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. Figured I'd find you here. I mean, not here, here. But somewhere like here. It's nice. Homie. Real homie. I like what you did with the uh, bricks. I bet I could stay up here all night. Sure you can. Dick? Dick! I was an acrobat, you know. <laughs> Fine, you can sit. But you have got to shut up. Morning, Alfred. Richard? know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader.
All right, I've put up with this for an hour. You wanted to talk. So talk. Oh. Uh, we can do this another time. Got a shower. Is it about Bruce? What? Makes you think that. I know everything about you, Dick Grayson. You love flaky cereal. You cried when I broke up with you. And you check out your own ass in the mirror every chance you get. But mostly I know that you keep not looking at that suit. Pretty sure I broke up with you. You know what? Fine. Yes. It's about Bruce. We fought. Before I went to Bloodhaven. He told me never to take the mask off. Not like him. Babs, it's taking everything I have not to screw this up. Everything he built. It's in my hands. You don't have to do it alone, dumbass. Why do you think Bruce trained all of us? I always forget how smart you are. Okay, this is gross. <laughs> you are really sweaty. <laughs> hey! I got this, Bruce. If you're watching this... I'm Batman. Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation? Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. slipped but now you're up so let's go this is important would you just go or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos I mean if you want some advice on being dead I got you covered oh this is gonna be good you're gonna need my password Am not.
You're always looking out for me. I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together and Tim got tomato sauce over Bruce and Bass. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead, then brought back to life by a pit of mind altering goo. Hey. I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. <laughs> we're way overdue for a rematch, Mr. Todd. Whoa. You got the Horror Classics expansion pack. How could I turn down scares and beats? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> New Challenger. Next level, Pit of Despair. Get ready. Whoa. The Lazarus Pit? Yeah. yeah. It's stupid. I'll be fine. It's not stupid. Uh. You died. It's okay to not be okay with that. Know what? I'm hungry. I'll get some takeout from Big Billy Burger. You want your usual? One bacon ultra belly combo coming up. I'll be right back. Hey. Thanks, Babs. These loads are pretty hot. Are you sure the velocity isn't too high? It'll be fine. Besides, it's not like I'll be shooting anyone who doesn't deserve it. You're at the upper safety limit. That doesn't leave you a lot of margin for error. You've seen the body armor criminals wear. We can't afford to play nice in an arms race. Not all our enemies wear armor. Uh-huh. If you believe these rounds are safe, then prove it. Shoot me. If 
fine. Maybe they are a little hot. Why don't you crunch your numbers and tell me what the best load should be? Great. Ooh, while we're at it, we should look at polymer volume and composition. Hmm. The decreased velocity will impact expansion, but if we tweak the gel compound, we can make up for it. Huh? <laughs> that is some wild shit. <laughs> I knew you'd been in it, but damn, Alfred. <laughs> After my last tour, I chose to come to Gotham. That path led me to a life I'd never imagined. Tech-powered street gangs, secret societies, heroes in capes. Sounds so ridiculous when you say it out loud. I thought I was done with war. All I did was trade one for another. The combatants change. The battlefronts shift. But the costs still add up. Both have the scars to show for it. Bruce blamed himself for your death, and for the darkness that followed. But even in the worst of times, we saw that you had the potential to emerge as a better man. Some days I barely feel human. Let alone a better man. He believed in you. And was proud of how far you'd come. Especially after everything you've been through. Check it, Tim. I'm opening this can, and everyone isn't covered with tomatoes. Ha ha. It wasn't my fault. Hey, the sauce still turned out great. Yeah, we all ate it. Jason, chop chop. Someone needs to get on those onions. You can't have a sauce without onions. Sure. But it's gonna need a little kick. I've got an idea. You'll love it. And extra garlic, please. Now you're talking. Mm. What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Same as you. Visiting an old friend. I keep waiting for him to step down and... I don't know, give some inspiring speech. Tell us to get back to work. Jesus, Jim. You would've hated this. 
They put you on an actual damn pedestal. Maybe he'd understand. He always said people needed symbols. Something to believe in. Yeah, but we both know he meant you bats. <sighs> Not him. Except with a squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. Wish we had him back. Yeah. Me too. See you later, Jim. That girl. He looks just like I remember. <gasps> A crime scene? Cool. But what about your photographic memory? Cold case. When I wasn't there, it helps to see it laid out. The detail is incredible. Commissioner Gordon? Detective Gordon, at the time. You made it look just like his statue. Now that we know about the court, I thought I might be able to close a few of his unsolved cases. Solid thinking. Oh, I'll help. <clears throat> I'm good. I'll let you know if I find anything. It's fine. Two heads are better than what? I'm sorry. I'd like to do this myself. Sure. Let me know if you need anything. Does the statue of my dad look like him? No. Finally. Somebody else around here who's angry. Bruce is dead. The Court of Owls is real. The League of Shadows is running around Gotham. And you're all trying to pretend everything's normal. This isn't just about the League. Or the Court. I can't remember Dad's face. Every time I think of him, he just looks like that stupid statue. And? And I have a photographic memory. Where I used to. How can I be Batgirl? Solve crime? Fight bad guys? If I can't trust my own brain. Stay angry. And you aim that anger square at every wrong in the world. At least that's what I do. But then... Thanks, Jason. No problem. That girl.
Listen. If you were worried about your dad, I wanted you to know. He wasn't covering for the Court of Owls. He solved some of these cases. Quite a few of them. He was fighting the court even if he didn't know they were. Should have known that. I just thought... Maybe I didn't know him as well as I thought I did. You needed proof. Just like Bruce would have. Should have found it earlier. I was Oracle. I had access to every computer system in Gotham. How could I miss something as big as the court? You mean, how could you have missed an evil secret society that's kept itself hidden from everyone, including your dad and Batman, for literal centuries? That sounds like something Dick would say. Thanks. So, now can I help with the murder dollhouse? Sure. Yes! <laughs> Gotham has called, and I have answered, and I will never abandon her. And I won't forget. Playing with a ghost, Alfred? You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. Hand me that cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, 
Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... Okay. Bruce isn't this bike. You can't just change everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. This is it. Alfred's playing right into Robin's trap. Mate, in two. Wait, how, how'd you... An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder. You hiding things from us, Drake? Maybe it's drugs. Or plutonium. <laughs> I mean, he is a teenager. A chess set? That looks familiar. Aren't those Bruce's? Yep, custom made. The knights even have bad ears? Would you look at that? They do have bad ears. I got them from Wayne Manor. I know it's dangerous, but I was careful and no one saw me. That's a big risk for a chess set. Everything we salvaged from the manor belonged to Batman. I thought we could use a bit more Bruce. Keep an eye on this sector. Let's step up patrols. <sighs> Looks like you have me in five. <laughs> I'll get you next time, though. Bruce's chess set. I carved these pieces myself. I even gave the knights bat ears. I noticed. Jason wasn't having the best game, huh? I promoted a queen and was about to walk all over him. I don't pick a queen when I promote a pawn. I suppose you choose a knight then. That was always Bruce's move. A little obvious, even for him. I like the Rook, actually. It's a protector, and a major piece. But people ignore it. They get distracted by more obvious threats until... Checkmate. Plus, castling is basically teleporting. How unorthodox. It's how Robin wins. <laughs>